The World Cup in Qatar is in the books, and Duncan, what can you say about that final? Just exhilarating. One of the best finals in recent memory. I go back to 1994 with my first experience of the World Cup in the U.S. And you don't expect a World Cup final to have six goals. You expect it to be KG, you expect teams to be afraid to make mistakes, but Argentina went for it early on. Tactically, they were fantastic, went to a 2-0 lead, and it went according to plan until the 80th minute where I think everyone just threw caution to the win. France got back into it 2-2. Mm -hmm. An extra time, both teams went for it. It was fantastic to watch. Great advert for, for soccer around the world and great for sports fans to, to experience such a spectacle. Does this solidify as Leo Messi as the GOAT? It's very hard. I, I don't want to get caught in that debate because in different generations, you have different great players. In the 80s, it was Maradona. Um, you know, sports science, the football pitches have got better as well. Um, VAR has come into the game. But I think for this generation, for what he's accomplished, he's won everything there is to win in club, in country, and on a personal level. I think in this generation, he is the best, not just footballer, mm -hmm. I think one of the best sportsmen, the best sportsman in the world above LeBron, above Tiger Woods. I think that cements himself as the best uh, of this generation. Okay, you look at the final four, Croatia and Morocco do make it. What does that mean when you look at the Canadian perspective? Does this change your opinion of how Canada performed at this tournament, given its group? I think, you know, no one expected Morocco to go that far in the tournament. People expected maybe Croatia to be outsiders, and they did themselves justice. I think for Canada, they put up a great performance against Morocco. Um, they were blown away mm -hmm. by, by Croatia. So, yeah, you have to give respect to what they did in tournament, but also against Belgium, we thought they did really well against uh, a number two team in the world, but just how badly Belgium did, maybe that puts things into perspective. They did lose all three games yeah. against those teams. Um, but yeah, I guess you can feel a little bit better about yourself seeing that Croatia and Morocco didn't make it to the semis. And really, the next period starts now, this next four-year cycle. Of course, the tournament coming to Mexico, USA and Canada. So I think the anticipation is high, is it not? Yeah, I mean, how do you top uh, what happened in Qatar and how do you top the final with all the storylines? I think this tournament, um, quality-wise, maybe not the best, but just crazy storylines with what Morocco has achieved, the Asian sides closing that gap with the European and South American sides. Remember, the champions lost to Saudi Arabia in the group stages. So I think the gap has got really closer, and I think it will be even closer in 2026. That's it. 2026, something to look forward to. The Canadian host cities are Vancouver and Toronto, and it'll happen from June to July.